Hey everybody, what's up? Farad here, and welcome back to the first tree. So last episode we were introduced to this male and female duo, and he's describing to us a dream that he's been having, and basically we're playing as a fox that is in the dream that he's talking about. And along the way we are finding out more about him as a person. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and jump right back into it. I did look at the trophy list, and there are 150 stars, so I missed one, <laughs> so I won't get that trophy. <coughs> Excuse me, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll miss more. What's this? Oh, it's a bed. Okay, I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, this place is going to be a little bit harder to find everything, because... <gasps> is that... Is that an animal? I oh, know it's a skateboard. I thought I saw movement. It's a skateboard, but no wheels. Did we get anything for this? No, I guess not. I thought I saw like a, um, an animal or something moving, and that's why I was just like, "Oh, do we get to hunt?" I didn't think about that. Okay, that faked me out. Dude, this place is fucking huge, bro. I haven't seen any items besides the first couple of stars. What about back here? <coughs> Excuse me. Is there anything at all? Looks like we found a tent. Yeah, it's like camping ground. Okay. But I don't see any hide. Oh, there's something up there. How do we get up there? Hmm. Yeah, how do we get up there? That's where we need to be. I haven't seen any butterflies, because I know those will help us jump up there. How do we get up there? Aha! There we go. Boing. Aha! Now we know. There was items- okay, I was like, I swear I saw shiny up here. <clears throat> Well, I may not be able to get all of them, but I can at least get the other trophy. I think it's a hundred. Oh shit. Also, I wish I would have looked, because I wouldn't have to walk all the way the fuck around that thing. <coughs> Excuse me. To be able to get up here. What the hell? the circle button, that's why I wasn't sure. Do I have to like sneak up on it? And how? Well, there we go. Yeah, I guess you have to sneak up on it. Okay, so I don't know what the hell that was. Moving on. We found a couple of those things, but we still haven't found any items for story, though. I'm trying to get more of this man's story, actually. Oh, there we go. There's one. I really like this. It makes me think of, um, like, a planet that I visited on No Man's Sky or something. Just the very green and purple and blue. Very different. I love the coloring. It looks like a house over here. A log cabin. What do we got? <clears throat> On our property, there were old abandoned pieces of a shed and car long left unused. Oh, okay. I used to ask him all the time who those people were that left all this junk. And I'm sure he got so tired of hearing it that he made up some elaborate stories how a brown bear ate them and haunted the woods afterwards. Oh, What's funny is I think it made those people seem more real. 
growing up thinking they were still hanging out like they couldn't say goodbye. I used to tell my friends how I could swear I saw spirits move Whoa. near the water, and that always freaked them out. All the I guess it didn't bother me, because the way I saw it, they were normal people with old cars and sheds, just trying to figure out how to survive and be happy in the middle of nowhere. It was a cool thought that they didn't want to leave, but you know, I was a weird kid. Well, you had good company since those ghosts like living in a place where they were brutally devoured. <laughs> well, what the hell, there's an item up here too? Hmm. Whoa, these bushes are huge. I do like how reassuring life is to him, though, that's good. Because it's not always easy to open up about your past. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so there's a light there, but there's also one all the way over here, so I want to see what that's about. Hiya! Or was it this way? It's hard to see my character. So tiny in the woods. Oh man, it's way the fuck over there. What did I miss? Wasn't I just over here? I'm so confused. Or is it just a pillar showing the one of three that I needed? Because we did find one of three, the little orbs. Hopefully that's not it, because otherwise it's wasted coming all the way back over here. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Yep. Okay, so at least we know that highlighted. So, then the other one would be this way. Oh, there's a baby carriage? Yeah. Or... Yeah, it's like baby here. Okay, so where did we... We came from that way, we need to go this way. Alright. Oh, there's something shiny up here. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, shiny. Ooh, sweet. New item right there, too. Beautiful timing. And another one of the things that we need. Okay. I wish you could pounce, that'd be cool. Like, you can jump, but you can't, like, pounce on the items. That'd be really neat. Alright, what do we got here? Even at my most distant, at the times when I detested him the most, he kept reaching out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we'd always used behind the house. We walked down the mountain path, talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. Oh. I hadn't even carved it. My dad had helped me. Oh, shit, right I still here. called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up. Huh. And we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much I loved sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore, but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long to realize it. But it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed for me. 
Yeah, like I said, sometimes you're stubborn when you're younger and you just can't see what... Even as you get older, you don't see what people are going through. What does it say? Fishing boat? Um, because some people don't show it as well as others do, that they're going through a hard time. Some people are very good at hiding that. I thought that was just a regular item. Well, it's... My dad built a lot of stuff in his free time. If he wasn't watching fly fishing or reading Tom Clancy novels, oh, he was carving Clancy. something. He made tons of birdhouses. Not that he was into bird watching, but I think he really missed working and adding on to the home. If he couldn't afford the time to build onto our own house, he would have to settle with watching birds move into their little homes. We kept an old mattress in the bed of that ugly yellow truck. So we would drive it deep into the woods and then watch the birds fly into their houses while the sun set. Usually it was accompanied by venison jerky or a cold mm. coke, but not a lot of talking, which is how we both liked it. See, that's nice. I never really got to do anything like that with my dad because he wasn't really into hunting. Um, and we never really like went camping together. So that wasn't something I really got to experience. I'm like zoning out because I'm trying to find items at the same time as telling a story. Um, I did go camping a little bit though with my mom and my stepdad and I did enjoy it because it's just nice to be out in the woods. I mean, like, I enjoy hiking and stuff like that. The hardest part though is just sleeping on the ground. <laughs> that just sucks, but it's worth it for a couple days. Oh, there's a boat over here. So wait, is this water? It's just that, like, sometimes I don't think that the grass is loaded in yet, so it kind of looks like water. Yeah, I didn't think so. I really like, though, that they place the items throughout. So you see all the stuff that he talks about in his stories. That's really fucking cool. I think the last one's right up there. Okay. I assume once we get the last, um, whatever orb that is, then it'll probably take us to the next area, maybe? That would be my guess. Aww. I'm gonna get you, and I'm gonna get you. Nice. I don't think we need any more stars. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. Um... Let's see if there's anything else out this way. What the hell? I swear I just heard a bird. Or an owl or something. I don't really see anything else. Oh wait, here we go. I wish I had the, um... Oh, is that a butterfly? I swear I just see shit sometimes. I thought I saw flapping. I thought it was like an orange butterfly. I think it was just a fucking twig, some stupid. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be something other than me. See some. I mean, there, there were birds, but I meant like something else. Whoa, that tree just changed colors in the background. Okay, what is this one? We were happiest underneath the evergreens. We decided it was time to finally map out the hundreds of acres we lived on just to pass the time during the summer. He was only free in the evenings, so I would spend the day wasting time on dial-up internet and sketching, oh. and then yeah. we would rush into the woods, pen and map in hand, before evening fell. Sometimes, the aurora borealis would cast a cold green glow on the mountainside, yeah. and we would finish our route underneath a twilight sky. Sometimes I was lonely during those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, though. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get out, to leave your childhood home. Mm -hmm. You wanted to progress, to make something of yourself. Oh. Yeah, you're right. That house. I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. Then why does it feel so different? I doubt you're the only adult to have looked back and asked that question. Yeah, she brings up a good point. 
That's why, like, I find it interesting when people talk about, like, <clears throat> doing high school reunions and going back to old high school. Um, I don't even know if I've ever mentioned this, but it's hard to remember everything. But I can't go back to my old high school because it got demolished. Um, after... I can't remember how long it was. They decided to just build a new one, and I was like, oh, that sucks. I can't ever, like, go back and look at, you know, like, go back through the hallways and be like, man, this is where I went. I went and did all this shit. <laughs> it's all gone now. Um, they did build a new one. I never went and looked at that one, though. I'm sure all the teachers went over, but I don't know. I guess part of me is just like, you know what? If it's gone, I kind of just will leave up the rest of it in, in my past as well. Just remember it as it was. Oh, that one was sneaky. I could definitely see people missing that. Okay, oh, there's another one. So many, they're everywhere. Oh, there's more. Yay. Oh, that's actually really hard to see. I couldn't tell. Oh, is that the item that we need? The orb? Is it right here? Let's see, I'm confused. I think it's like you gotta fall on it. So I pressed circle and it wasn't doing it. That's why I don't. That's why, like, he was talking last time when I did it, so that's why. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah, see, I don't, I don't know. The way forward. What did that do? that open a pathway of some sort? I'm confused. I don't know, what did that do? I definitely don't know. Do we need to head back to where the tree roots were? Did something happen here? I'm so confused. Did we already go this way? I think so. I got a trophy too. But I don't know exactly what it was for, though. Because <clears throat> I don't think we can go up higher, right? Yeah, I don't think that unlocked anything that way. So, my best guess is to head back to the roots. Basically what I meant was I'd head back to the tree where he had his name carved in. I don't know if that's right or not. Okay, so when we came here earlier, there were a bunch of roots blocking the mountain passage. So my guess is that after we got all of those items, it's open now? Yeah, I was right. <clears throat> Sweet. I 
think I also, yeah, there's also one over here. Sneaky, sneaky. It was just, the way the sound was, I almost thought that maybe we had, like, the rock had moved and we had unlocked something. But then I was like, you know, there was a bunch of these roots right here. I remember seeing that, but I didn't know if that was blocking us from leaving. Oh. The perpetrator stood nearby, unfazed. Like nothing was wrong. My dad is dead. And he's never coming back, Rachel. Wait, I can what? tell you these stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. He can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry. For everything. Lost another pup. So wait, what happened? Oh fuck. <clears throat> What happened with the guy? His dad? I mean, obviously his dad died, but why? That's another thing, too, like, people will tell you when, you know, arguments happen between your family or whatever, and people are like, you know, it's better to try and come to a conclusion and forgive one another because you never know, like, that's, that's something sad to see, like, when people get in an argument and one rushes out to leave, and then, you know, something happens to them because of just, out of all of the emotion, not paying attention to their surroundings and whatnot, and it's just a dangerous situation, man. That's why I always say to never leave angry, you know. It's one thing to, like, go into another room and just calm down, but it's better to come to a resolution than, you know, you see the other person running away, you better go get them no matter how mad you are. I was kind of hoping with us, <clears throat> excuse me, with us running downhill, it would have ran a little bit faster. But I guess not. It's got the same old speed. I was supposed to warn that other cub. I kind of just walked past and I felt bad. It didn't pop up the symbol though. I thought I saw an item when we were coming down the hill, but I'm not so sure. Okay, it is over there. It's way over there. Holy hell. I almost feel like this would have been a good part for a little more story, just on his own. This is definitely by far the largest spot, because we're still in one area. It hasn't even changed yet. Directly to the source, I don't see anything else. Understandable though, when you reach to a certain point. I don't know, I guess after so much of uh, letting out, your body's just like, I need to rest. I'm exhausted. Um, I'm not seeing anything shiny, so I think we need to just go forward and that should end this little session of this part. <clears throat> Maybe take us to another one. So like I said, I have no idea how long this game is. I'm not sure if we're close to the end already? Or what's going on? Okay, yeah, there we go.
<clears throat> Excuse me. Trying to chug some water down. Ah. Whoa. What the what? Oh, this is beautiful. Um Joseph, you can't go to sleep feeling like this. I'm sorry for everything and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. You don't need to feel so lost. Joseph, have I ever told you what my mother was like? Are we about to find out? I'm not really sure how to tell if I'm going the right way or not. I just kind of just walking straight. Oh, here we go. I was like, there's got to be something we're heading towards. <clears throat> she does bring up a good point, though. While sometimes you do feel like you just want to lay down after opening up like that, you do, it's... I don't know, it's hard because, you know, having someone there for you is a very good thing, but sometimes you just feel like you're a burden. And it can be pretty hard to reach out. <clears throat> but clearly you were sitting there talking to her. What is that? Is that a deer? Oh wait, I could run this whole time. Damn it. You know what it's like not to have a mom at home. And you know how hard that made my childhood. What helped me was watching the birds in the morning before the school bus came. <laughs> I thought that my mother was one of those birds. And it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami cranes while she was in the hospital. So I told myself I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. So I think that's definitely a human thing in general. We just want to fly away. Especially because it's like, you know... <clears throat> excuse me. It just seems to make the most sense. You know what I mean? You're just like, I don't know what else to do, but if I could fly away, maybe that would help me clear my mind. Where are we going? Have you guys seen anything else light up? Am I blind? I hate to keep spinning in circles, but... I also don't just want to keep running in one direction. I don't see anything anymore. Keep running until something pops up. <clears throat> I do not know what's going on. I drink so much water and my throat is just like Bleh. Hello? Is anybody here? Where do I go next? Did I go the wrong way? I don't know what I'm doing. You have strength, Joseph. Oh. And you're not as alone as you think. It's all just so pointless. Just waiting for life to happen. It's like having the home I always wanted is cursed out of my reach. The thought of being a parent myself. How could I do that when I couldn't even be a good son? I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. I just don't know how things will work out. These quiet hours will turn into years. We'll wonder which roads passed us by. Then we'll forge a new road together. Yeah, Besides, I discovered for myself that one fateful morning where any hopeful road leads to. There may be thorns and mist, but it always leads to the same thing. And what's that? Family. Yep, family. I'm so glad that you're part of my family, Rachel. And I'm glad you're part of mine. That's very beautiful. That's something we don't realize, you know, um, when we're younger. All we want to do is just, like, rebel or run away or whatever it is just to get away. 
from be it a good family or a bad family, you know, because sometimes people can run away from things where they feel like they're being pressured into doing stuff because their family has a thing to live up to or whatever, and then other people are trying to run away from their parents because they're literally abusive. Um, and what's important, though, is family, but it doesn't have to be for family. It could be a family you create on your own. I thought I saw an item over here. I'm not sure, though. Okay, I did. That, that, and that. I don't know if there's anything else this way, but I would like to look though. I feel like there's a lot of hidden things in this game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thankfully, it's usually pretty shiny. Yeah, there we go. I see something right there. It's a little bit easier to tell, but when some of these levels, the lighting is a little bit harder. This one's not too bad. I think it's just these items, though. I haven't seen... I haven't seen the pillars of light, you know? That's what I'm looking for. Wait a minute. Is this the same thing? There's a toaster. Hmm. Are we supposed to go another way? I'm confused right now. I feel like we keep making a loop. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. There's a... Looks like a washer and a... Microwave, I think it was. Well, no, this looks like the end, so... I guess we'll go this way? I'm really not sure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All kinds of stuff back here. They're like paintings. Oh, there's a fox. Oh, these are really pretty. We got a moose, or a deer. It looked like a moose for a second there. I bet those are pictures <clears throat> from his dad, maybe. And another fox. That's a rabbit. I found a rabbit. <laughs> All right, well, now comes the fucking question. Where do I go? <laughs> I feel like I just ran forever. I guess I'll just run back this way. Let's see what happens next. Okay, so without seeing any pillars, I'm really not sure. But it was open right here, so I'm gonna make a right if possible. Or I'll get stuck on the tree. I think it's right up here. Okay, let's see what happens this way. Hello? Is this the way to go? I think it may be. What was that? I swear I just heard something. It almost sounded like another animal. I'm hearing something. What the hell am I hearing? Hmm. Where is that coming from? I think it's up above here. Oh, 
Like I said, the only thing I wish you could just run a little bit faster. Just a little bit faster. Okay. So then I remember seeing, yeah, we got the stars here, so I think this will lead us up and then we'll just leave, I think. Sounds like it's over here, but I never saw anything. Maybe it's just the way the wind is hitting, and I'm just imagining shit. No, that definitely sounds like something whining. Like it's hurt, maybe. Wait, does this keep going? Holy cow! I thought this would have been done by now. I thought, like, once we climbed the hill, that was it. So maybe we just have to climb up here and get these. Interesting. A little platformer action. Go this way. And yeah. oh, Come on now. I wonder if I missed something though. Because I feel like there was another spot we could have turned left at back there. But I was so far away. Oh my gosh, we've traveled so far. This fucking level is huge! Is that it? Okay. That was just deceiving. Like, I just thought the level was gonna be over, and then we would move to the next one by now. That was huge level. Holy cow. Beautiful, though. I like the transition, too, from, like, how it went. From the one forest to like the dream world, then to like the ocean, kind of, then to the final the area. Fox that was knew her last cub would be waiting for her at the first tree. She was almost there. The rain cascaded onto the jade valley where the entrance to the tree was. Life was protected there because that's where life began. It was now only a mother and a daughter left. Items from my life still dotted the ground as she moved closer to her destination and destiny. Alright, friends. So I, I would only assume this is probably going to be towards the end of the game. So what we'll go ahead and do is end the episode here and we'll save the rest of this for the next one. Um, definitely a little more... Um, relatable game than I expected. A lot of the things he's talked about I can relate to um, personally because growing up the way I did, um, like the being reclusive from your parents and drawing and using escapism and stuff like that. Um, I did not expect this when I bought this game at all. I thought it was like a fox simulator or something like that. This is a very unique game and they weren't like, it was underneath, like I said, the PlayStation store. They had like a section for unique. And I just clicked on it and I saw this and I'm really glad I got it. This is very interesting. Just realizing a lot of things too about myself along the process as well. Um, something I've been trying to do as well, just a journey on understanding myself more as I've gotten older. But a beautiful game. I'm really enjoying this a lot. I hope you guys are as well. If so, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd be happy to have you here. If you want to check out any of my other series, you can check the links in the description, or if you want to go to the channel itself, there's playing on the playlist page. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next episode.